example, we're going to talk about the range rule of thumb. Now, the range rule of thumb applies when you're given a set of values and you're given the mean and the standard deviation for that set. And the range rule of thumb says that the minimum usual value is the mean minus two times the standard deviation. And the maximum usual value is the mean plus two times the standard deviation. Okay, so in this particular example, we're going to suppose that scores on a certain exam are distributed with a mean of 1511 and a standard deviation of 312. Okay, and then we're going to say if Joe scored 915 and Sally scored 2140, did either of them score, or sorry, did either of them receive an unusual score? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the maximum usual value and the minimum usual value. And if either Joe is or Sally scored between those, then they're usual. If Joe or Sally scored outside of those values, then they received an unusual score. Okay. So first we're going to calculate the minimum usual value. So the minimum usual value is the mean minus two times the standard deviation. So the mean in this problem was 1511. Minus two times the standard deviation, and the standard deviation is 312. Okay, so this is 1511 minus two times 312. And I want to remind you of order of operations. Multiplication comes before subtraction. So if you do two times 312, that will be 624. And if you do 1511 minus 624, that should give you 887. Okay, now we're going to find the max usual value. So the max usual value is the mean plus two times the standard deviation. So that's going to be 1511 plus two times 312. And again, order of operations applies. So we do multiplication before addition. So two times 312 is 624. And if we add 624 to 1511, we'll get 2135. Okay, so the min usual value is 887, and the max usual value is 2135. Okay, so let's look at Joe's score. Joe scored 915. Well, since 915 is between these two values, 915 is bigger than the min, it's bigger than 887, but less than 2135. So Joe scored between those values, so Joe's score is usual. So Joe received a usual score. Joe's score is usual. Now let's look at Sally. Sally's score was 2140. This is bigger than the max usual. Sally scored 2140, and 2140 is bigger than what we said the max usual was. The max usual is 2135. So since Sally scored bigger than the max usual value, since she scored higher than the max usual value, we say that Sally's score is unusual. So in this example, we had two scores, and we were determining if either of them was unusual. Joe's score was not unusual because it was between the min usual and the max usual. Sally's score was unusual because it was bigger than the max usual value.